ready, Surly? You ready? You ready? What's going on, guys? We're going old school today. I have not done this in years and years. Fall crappie fishing. We have a beautiful fall afternoon. When I was uh, younger, I used to do this all the time. I uh, used to get a whole bunch of trips for crappies and used to just enjoy a nice fall day of crappie fishing. So uh, today we're on a lake which I have not been on in years. Um, we're going to try to catch some crappies. Now fall is an interesting time um, for crappie fishing and a lot of crappie guys know this, but generally there's a deep panfish migration um, You know when the water starts cool down in the fall. And really in the Northwoods it's kind of like early October all the way on is kind of the start of this. So we're in early October now and uh, we're going to get into basically some of the locations on where you can find these fish. And I'm going to go through the process too because I have not been out here for a very long time as well. Alright, so where do we start looking for these fall crappies and panfish? Well. Each lake's a little bit different. Um, you know, like a lake that only gets 15 feet deep is gonna be different than a lake that gets like 50, 60, 70 feet deep, right? So basically the first thing I look for is I start looking for large soft bottom basins. I guess it doesn't really have to be that large, but some kind of soft bottom basin area. You know, these a lot of these panfish are gonna winter in some of the deeper holes in the lake. So the areas I'm looking for is any kind of structure, any kind of cover relating to that deep hole. Now we have water temps today that are 55 degrees, which I'm sure is the same for a lot of the upper Midwest and if it's not already it will be soon so we're gonna start looking at some of these deeper holes and basically the way you find that on the map is you go to like your hummingbird highlight and it seems like the sweet spot as far as zones go is kind of like 20 to like 35 this is kind of like a wintering basin scenario so you know we come over here to our hummingbird and we highlight basically 20 to let's say 30 or 35 feet of water and then we start scrolling out and we look for some of these larger basins that are kind of in that zone. Now the next thing we do is either start looking for structure or a lot of times if there's not structure these fish will just be roaming suspended um, in that basin. So you know we found one of these spots the next thing we're going to do is basically go over there and we're either looking for a big point that has fish relating to it, um, a line of cribs that has fishing relating to it, something where fish are relating to is always the goal. Um, so yeah that's the next step we'll see you over there. Alright guys so we came out here we started driving around this larger basin and we found exactly what every crappie guy wants to see is a big set of cribs so you know I'll show you guys a screenshot right here you know here's what the cribs look like cribs are super easy to see on side imaging so if I'm looking for either fish on a new lake like this um, or if I'm just looking for structure side imaging is your best friend so turn that side imaging up to some of the higher ranges whether that's 70 or 100 feet and start cruising around and in this scenario, um, you know, I haven't seen the fish yet, but I've seen the cribs. So this lets me know, you know, we can go back and inspect. And actually, as I was kind of driving around this area, um, you know, I ended up going over the couple cribs and saw there was some fish there. So the next thing to do is uh, get set up and use spot lock to get spot lock directly over this top of the crib. Um, once we verify there's fish there, and then we'll start dropping baits. All right, guys, there's two baits we're gonna use um, to kind of get these crappies off this crib. One, which I have not tried before um, for crappies is the Acme Hyper Rattle in the smallest size. The other one is the tried and true, catches millions of crappies everywhere crappies live, the Kalen's crappie scrub, uh, a couple of paddle tails on the back. And there we go. First fish on and look at that one. That's exactly what we came out here for. There we go guys. There is number one on the crappie scrub. Beauty. It's a quality about, I don't know, it's about 11 and a half, 12 inch there. We'll get him back because there's a pile of them down there. So one thing that is extremely important or makes life much easier is to try to fish on sonar the whole time. So my transducer is right in the back left here. And I'm dropping down pretty tight to it. And I can now see my bait in the zone. You can see it, there's the bait. And there's another fish on right there. This one's not as big, this is a small crappie. But anytime you can take away more of the variables as far as how deep you're fishing, and uh, you know, basically watching how the fish respond to the bait, always a good thing. All right, we got a race. And fish on. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful 
fall crappies on the Kalen's crappie scrub. Super simple way to fish. We watched it go down on sonar. He got nabbed by a pike or something. We'll get him back. All right, you can just start to see me going down here. And I'm gonna hold it right above his brush pile again. A lot of times you can see the whole kind of school start moving up. Okay, here comes one just flying. And fish on. This feels good. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that is a dandy crappie right there. Just a toad of a fall crappie. You saw him come up through that school, just pounded that crappie scrub. And that is a good fall afternoon. Absolute chunker right there. That fish is probably about 13 and a half, I'd say right in there. Just a dinner plate. Hey, we're there, you crappie. Oh, here, I'm seeing some movement. And fish on. Not a big one, but another one there. I'm gonna pitch him back quick. Just gonna try dropping straight into it and see what happens here. As I get down there, I'm just gonna start kind of easing it up real slow. And fish on. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Another quality, quality fish. Jig right in the top of his mouth there. These are good average size crappies for northern Wisconsin. It's another one about 12, 12 inches there. Beautiful fish. We'll get him back. Well, that is gonna wrap up our little crappie shoot. I did not have a lot of time to shoot this. Um, so I figured we could get a, in order to get a video done quick, we could probably go catch some fall crappies. Hopefully this was useful to you guys. I know Surly likes being out here on a nice fall day catching crappies probably a ton of you guys do too so thanks for watching if you guys have not yet please subscribe um, i don't know how many more crappie ones we'll be doing but lots more walleye and maybe some other multi-species this fall um, like i said please subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time